I'm Jeff Chandler for the Events Calendar. With Event Automator, you can use Microsoft Power Automate to combine the Events Calendar and Event Tickets with many of your favorite third-party apps and tools. MSPA allows you to integrate our plugins by using what they call flows. A flow is a workflow that sets up an automation between two different apps. We're going to have a couple of useful links in the video description below to the Microsoft Learn website, the list of connectors, and the Getting Started with Power Automate article, and the Microsoft Power Automate assessment. Now, before proceeding, uh, we highly encourage you to have installed and configured Event Automator as explained in this knowledge base article. To explain how this works, we'll be creating an actual automation. In this example, every time you publish an event, it will trigger an email that will be sent to someone using Gmail. So first, we're going to click on My Flows, then click on New Flow, and underneath where it says Build Your Own from Blank, click on Automated Cloud Flow. A pop-up will now appear to build your flow. If you are not an advanced user, click on Skip and jump to the next session. But for advanced users, this is where you would name your flow, which is recommended but not required. You could choose your flow's trigger, and there's a search box here where you could use the search field to narrow down your selection, or when an event is created on your website. Then, when you're finished here, you'll click on the Create button. Next, we're going to choose a trigger. First, you want to click on the Trigger button. Then, you'll search for the connector of the app you want to use up here at the top you see label number two, and then you'll want to click on the desired trigger button, which is number three over here. And that's it. Your trigger is all set. Now, if you're an advanced user, advanced users can customize the trigger configuration, but its default configuration should be fine. The rest of us should move on and add an action, also known as an operation. First, you want to click on the plus icon to add a new step. Choose your flow's action from your preferred connector. You can use the search field to narrow down your selection. For example, you can enter Gmail into the search bar and then select Send Email under the Gmail connector. Depending on the action and connector selected, it might be necessary to sign in the desired applications, if not previously done. Grant permissions to the desired applications, provide more information, e.g. location, file, and table for Excel online, or etc. Next, we'll move on to mapping dynamic fields. The trigger and operation connectors are now linked, but we're not done yet. We need to teach the Action app how to use the triggers app data. And yes, that needs to be done one field at a time. In the Action apps connector, which is Gmail for this example, review every field available under the Parameters tab to see if they require mapping. You might need to click on a Show All link to see them. As you can see in the following screenshot, you may need to click this Show All link to see them. For each field you review, Ask yourself if that field needs to receive information from your trigger, which in this case is the events calendar. When you find a field needing information from your trigger, click on it to select it. Click on the lightning bolt icon, as you can see right here, labeled by the number three, that appears to display the available dynamic fields from the trigger. So as you can see in this following screenshot, and then in this screenshot as well. You can see the various parameters, and here's the body title and the search field. And repeat this process for every available field until you are satisfied. Well, you're almost there. We're going to want to save the flow, run the flow checker, and then test it. Take it for a test run. Your flow is ready to go, and your process is now automated. In our example, a chosen email address will receive an email every time you create a new event on your calendar. Now, it's important. Always keep an eye on new flows safety first. Now, for the more advanced folks out there, you could turn the flow off, on or off at any given point by using the My Flows menu on all platforms, online, mobile app, or desktop app. You can see the power button up here pointed out by the red arrow. If you run into any issues setting up connectors and these flows, please don't hesitate to contact our support team.